In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the acceleration of a system that has three masses and two cords. The question reads, consider a flat surface with a coefficient of friction at 0 0.2 with a 2.0 kilogram mass and a 3 kilogram mass connected together with a 6 kilogram mass along a slant as shown in the figure below. The coefficient of friction on the slant is 0. Calculate the acceleration of the system. As I've been doing with the videos prior to this, Newton's second law is important when it comes to finding out the answer. Newton's second law is force is equal to mass times acceleration. That being said, I will find out the force due to gravity for each of these masses. And I'll be doing that with this formula. So let's begin with mass 1. I'll call this mass 1, mass 2, and mass 3. Starting with mass 1, we have force is equal to its mass of 2.0 times the acceleration due to gravity being 9.8 meters per second squared. And remember that these two have a coefficient of friction being mu is equal to 0 0.2. So I'll multiply this by 0 0.2 and I'll do the same thing for mass 2. I'll find out what that is in a moment. So mass 2 is force is equal to 3 kilograms times the acceleration due to gravity and again mu is 0 0.2. Luckily for us, and it's one less thing that we have to worry about, is that there is no coefficient of friction on this mass. So for mass 3, the force due to gravity is 6 times 9.8. We will be using this later on in the question. So finding out what these values are, these will serve as the magnitude for each of these vectors. So I'll begin with M3, 6 times 9.8, that gives us 58.8. And Newtons is the unit for force. And the rest, if you calculate them on your own, should be the following. The next thing that I will do is break this vector down into its components. So we have the component that is going along the plane and a component that is perpendicular to the plane. What I need to find out is the magnitude of this component specifically. So how do we do that? Well, let me recreate what I see over here. First of all, if we recreate this vector along with that vector, we'll have something that looks like this. And we're told in the figure that it's 25 degrees. So if that's 25 and this is a 90 degree angle, then this, we add 90 plus 25, that's 115. Subtract that from 180, that means that this angle right here is 65. We need that to find out the magnitude of that vector. What I will do next is, you see this vector right here? I will redraw it right there. So I'm sorry if it's too small for you, but if that's the case, let me just recreate it really quickly. We have the vector that goes along the plane and this vector completes another 90 degree or right triangle. And we said that that was 65, that's 90. To find out the magnitude of this vector, we will be using cosine, trigonometric ratios. So cosine 65 Cosine is a comparison of the adjacent and hypotenuse. That's the adjacent, we have the hypotenuse. We found out actually it to be 58.8. So adjacent over hypotenuse being 58.8, multiplying both sides by 58.8. Let's do that on our calculator. That makes 24.84. Let's document that. So we have 24.84. Now we have to create equations that relate the acceleration and tension for this complete system. We will have three equations in total. The first equation relates tension and acceleration for this mass. Assuming that the system will be moving clockwise, our equations will look like this. So our first equation will be tension T2 minus the force due to gravity, which we found out to be 3.92, 3.92. And that is equal to the mass times the acceleration that we're looking for. Now keep in mind that this formula models F is equal to mass times acceleration. So that's our force, that's our mass, and that's our acceleration. 
Let me just erase that. Our second equation will be based on mass two. We'll take the difference between these two tensions. So since it's moving clockwise, we'll write down T sub one minus T sub two. We take the difference because one is going this way and the other one is pulling that way. And we subtract that by the force due to gravity, which was 5.88. And that's equal to the mass of 3.0 times the acceleration. Our last equation will relate this mass. And we will be using the magnitude of this vector for the force. So we'll write down what we found as 24.8, 24.8 minus T sub one. You see how this equation differs from the previous two? Again, that will be equal to 6.0 times the acceleration A. So we have three unknowns and three equations. We can solve this using substitution. So I'll start with equation number one and I'll solve for T sub two. So let's go ahead and do that. We have T sub two is equal to two A plus 3.92. Let's substitute this value right into here. We have T sub one minus 2A plus 3.92. And since this expression has two terms, you should put this in parentheses so that the subtraction affects both of them. Minus 5.88 is equal to 3A. Let's go ahead and solve for T sub one. I will expand this T sub one minus 2A minus 3.92 minus 5.88 is equal to 3a. Let's bring that over. T sub one minus these two. Let's find out what that is. Negative 9.8 is equal to 3a plus 2a. We're solving for T sub one, so I'll bring the negative 9.8 over. That becomes 5a plus 9.8. And finally, I can substitute this value, this expression, into here to find out what my acceleration is. So 24.8 minus these two, so both of these get a negative, is equal to 6a. Bringing again this term over, we get 6 plus 5 is 11a. And combining those, we should end up with 15. Dividing both sides by 11 gives us a value of, let's use our calculator, 15 divided by 11. The answer is 1.4 meters per second squared. Now, if you'd like to find the tension, the tension for T sub one and T sub two, you would substitute that value for A into there. That will give you T sub two. And to get T sub one, you substitute it into there. And so there you have it. Now you know how to calculate the acceleration of a system for three masses that are connected by two separate cords.